Hello. Don't. My daughter's only six months old and already drawing. I'd hang it on the fridge, but honestly, it's absolute garbage. <laughs> my daughter just sneezed into my yawning mouth. Seemed really fucking pleased with herself. Joke's on her. She'll have to bury me someday. <laughs> This is absolutely monstrous, and do, and does anybody know if it requires a permit? What is it? Oh my god! <laughs> Honestly, not that bad. At least it'll teach the kid to get rid of their fear of heights. Ryan Reynolds has honestly embraced the embodiment of Deadpool. He's... it's sort of like a thing that's happening with um, Marvel characters. Robert Downey Jr. has like embraced... really embraced the personification of Iron Man or Tony Stark, you know? It's sort of like... it's sort of like the characters are taking over the actors. <gasps> Conspiracy theory. What if Disney is taking over not just the movie industry, but the people as well. <gasps> Hello everyone, my name is Ollie Mori and welcome to Seizure Art. So Deadpool 2 has recently come out in cinemas in Australia, and in honour of the new release, I'm going to be doing a character mash using the Jazza's RD Games app. If you don't know who Jazza is, he's a YouTuber, Jaw with Jazza on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description below. He's a great artist and a great YouTuber, so please go check him out. So the way this mash is going to work, I'm going to make a list. Choosing five characters from Marvel and five from DC. Now the randomizer is going to choose one from each list. They're the two characters I'm going to be mashing together. Now seeing as the new Deadpool movie has come out, it's only fitting that we only use Deadpool characters for Marvel. So, so let's go into custom generator. Alright, add custom list. Deadpool Cable Domino Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Um, I'm just gonna call her NT. W. Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Um, one more. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's do Colossus. Nice, and that's the Marvel. Alright, who should we do for DC? Would be a good match for these people. I want to lean more towards the female side, because the Marvel side is a little bit of a sausage fest. DC female characters. I'm just going to look some up. Catwoman? Supergirl? I think that's another one. Wonder Woman? Yes. Ooh, Zatanna. And one more. One more. I'll do one guy. I am having a hard time. Screw it. I'm just gonna um, put in what was on my mind from like the very start, but I, I didn't want to do it because it was, you know, I thought it would be too cliche. Holy Quinn. All right, done. Until we hit go, we will see what our mash is gonna be. All right. Mm, this is exciting. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and a go. Sweet, okay. Much contemplating here. This could be really cool. Supergirl and Domino. Hmm. I'm just sort of thinking about what would the mash be. This could be really cool. I'm just gonna go through the, the rest. I'm just gonna uh, randomize it a bunch of times and see what we could have gotten. Because I'm, I'm keeping to Domino and um, Supergirl. I can't go back. I can't go back. Supergirl and Cable? That would have been cool. Zatanna and Domino. Like, Domino with magic powers. Wonder Woman and Domino. Harley Quinn and Colossus. <laughs> Harley Quinn, she'd be unstoppable. Zatanna and Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool in fishnet stockings. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna look that up. Is there... <laughs> <laughs> Is there a Deadpool in fishnet stockings? Damn it. Can't seem to find a Deadpool in fishnet stocking. That would have been sexy as fuck. So it is Supergirl and Domino. This is gonna look so awesome. I can't wait. I'm so happy about that. So when I want to draw a character I don't know how to draw, I start with small thumbnail sketches. Now I wanted to draw Domino from the Deadpool movie not the original, because the movie version is just so much 
different and cool. And she's super badass in the movie. I never knew what her ability was until I saw the movie and I think it's a really cool power. So I had the idea of doing the mash like Supergirl with Domino's guns and eye patch, but again I love the look of Domino in the movie, so I went with the Super Domino combination. So I wanted to make a really cool version of Super Domino, as is the, naturally the goal when drawing a superhero. But what was frustrating was do that Domino already had such a Supergirl-like outfit on already, and all I was really doing was slapping a cape on her. That's what it felt like anyways. But I might do a little bit more research in the future just to vamp the um, super side of her up. Later. Um, as for the symbol on her chest, I was thinking of doing a D for Domino, but it just, you know, it didn't look right. Uh, it wasn't as symmetrical as the the S, so I replaced the D with like an actual Domino. I, I think I might keep that. So here are the first designs, first couple of um, uh, designs. So I was trying really hard to balance out the the Domino and Supergirl aspects. Um, it was really fun, actually. Uh, I really, I'm really warming up to the the actual Domino. I was thinking of putting a gi giant D on her chest, like they had with Supergirl with the S, but. I thought that was a little bit, mm, I don't know. I, I did a domino instead. Maybe that's their symbol of hope. A domino. Now, I like um, playing around with the ideas. Uh, the first sketch we did, uh, it's, a, it's relying really heavily. I wanted to do the domino from the movie. It kind of just looked like domino with some shoulder pads and a cape. As we move forward, I kind of like this one as well, with the cape, giant like scarf collar. And I'm always, I'm always going to draw her with like massive boots. I'm trying to heavily put in a uh, military aspect as well. So for the final, I'm going to add the domino and the, the scarf aspect as well. I might throw in a couple of stuff here and there, but that, that's what I really want to mainly put in in the final sketch. So yeah, let's get to the final sketch. So now that we're onto the final sketch, I'll try and explain to you the process of how I finalized the drawings as best I can. Here there are three stages that I do. You don't have to follow the way I do finals, in fact don't, because the way I draw is a bit flawed. I'll tell you why in a bit, but right now I'm just focusing on the silhouette of the drawing, how the pose looks and fits on the page. You might have seen at the start that I erased the first sketch work because it didn't quite fit properly on the paper. In fact, I do a lot of erasing here. I wanted the pose to look like she was flying. With the meshes I've done so far, I've created a lot of characters flying, actually. Maybe I have a fetish for flying, I don't know. So the next step, I'm putting down the heavy artillery with the lead, so to speak. Now this part I think is a little unnecessary because it involves a lot of, you know, stuffing around and in my opinion it's not the best way to utilize your muscle memory and your imagination. Like here I might as well leave it at the end of the stage and illustrate the line art on Clip Studio. You know, here right now I'm just not as confident in my skills just yet so I'm just, you know, laying down an extra layer of lead. So right now I'm deciding on what Super Domino is going to wear. I wanted to try to be clever and make a military desert scarf as her cape. I don't know if it works or not, it kind of just looks like she's wearing a giant carpet or towards the end. I might cut it a bit short when I colour it digitally, we'll see, I don't know. Now for the other dilemma. <laughs> I said previously that I liked the domino that was imprinted on her chest, but now her tatas are like covered with the freaking carpet around her neck. So I put dominoes on her shoulders and knees just to try and show that her alien planet worships a domino. The other problem was her boots as well. This is why it's bad to keep on stuffing around with lead work. Here you sort of have the opportunity to like control Z a lot of the time and it ruins the paper a bit. When being an artist, particularly a, a comic book artist, you need to make quick 
but like accurate decisions. Otherwise, it, it takes ages for a comic to get published. Wow, I'm I'm really hating on Led today. <laughs> I love Led, you guys. I swear on Ryan Reynolds' daughter. <laughs> so onto the inking. Nothing special here, just going over the lead work with a pen. Here I'm using a 0.1 uni pin fine liner. Another reason not to use lead so much. It, it dries out the pen and ruins the, the tip while going over it. I hate lead everyone, lead is just the worst <laughs> Well here you have it ladies and gentlemen, this was a lot of fun to design and decide the different characters, the different parts of the different characters on, on each side for this, like which part was Supergirl and which part was Domino. Um, I think my favourite thing about this design is how fucking big her scarf is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's enormous. Uh, I, I was thinking about digitally editing it so it would, um, it would like, I would condense it and make it smaller. But now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like it. <laughs> so the next step is to color it in. Now, like all my other comic mashes, they're digitally colored in. So I'm going to digitally color this in too. And for this, I'm going to be using my teeny weeny little screen of a Wacom tablet. Um, I'll just get it out for you. Get out, my teeny weeny but somehow obese uh, Wacom tablet. <laughs> and the program I'll be using is Clip Studio, which I'm still a little bit, you know, rusty at. So forgive me if this turns into a complete shitstorm. <laughs> so onto the final and probably most hardest part for me. I suck absolute buttocks when it comes to digital art, but hey, you never too late to learn, right? So I'm starting off with the flat colors, and then using the lasso tool, I'll create shadows and highlights, and then from there, it's all a matter of building layers. That's basically the process here. I don't really know what else to say here, uh, so I'll just let you enjoy the time lapse in silence. <laughs>
And there you have it, everyone. This was a big process in digital art. It almost broke me, guys. <laughs> no, I love it. I love the space look, like um, how she looks like she's just entering the atmosphere of Earth. It almost kind of looks like the, the, the sheen around her scarf and boots kind of looks like she's like, it's like the meteorite, you know, crash landing to Earth. Also love her gloves. Um, the gloves were my favorite feature to draw. They were just like, I wanted to make them like, like liquid gold, like maybe liquid shiny gold. I don't know, I hope I, hope I pulled it off. I learned a lot about digital art on this project. Sorry if before I didn't give much information about doing this project, but literally it was just you, me using the lasso 2 for the most part. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Is it good? Is it bad? I, I don't know. I just, I love feedback. <laughs> keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey everyone, sorry this took so long to make. I've been having a bit of a slump lately and it's affecting my workflow a lot, but always expect a video. Hope you enjoyed this and hope it was helpful as well as fun to watch. If you like what you saw, please go check out my other social medias. There's always something different on each one. Also, if you're feeling generous, there's a PayPal for donations. Any amount high or small would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye. I love writing nursery rhymes for my daughter. Her favorites are Sunshine Cuddle Time and Everyone You Know Will Eventually Die. <laughs> Surprisingly easy to teach a baby to swipe right. I walk through fire for my daughter. Well, not fire because it's dangerous, but a super humid room. <laughs> but not too humid because my hair. <laughs>